cheated, lied to, or tricked, she's tackling every opportunity to make something that went wrong right. Better Call Bacon is on your side. <laughs> I mean business. I need, I want the records. I need the records. It is an ongoing battle. More than a year after a popular Spring Hill pediatrician died, parents are still fighting to get their children's medical records, and they were shocked to find out who has control of those records and where they're being held. They mean business, and that's exactly what they wanted. They want a result, so what they do? Better call Bankin. Eight on your side, investigator Shannon Bankin, my good friend here joining me now. You've been on the story for months, and it's really confusing as to why someone would just not let go of the records and let the parents have it. It's confusing, and Melanie, it's inexcusable that these parents can't get their hands on these precious records. The mom you are about to meet tells me her son's future medical care could depend on these files. And his file is about that big. Christine Pavani has been trying to get her son's medical records since pediatrician Dr. Russell Bain died a year ago, and his Spring Hill practice, Babies and Beyond, closed. The records tell of Christine's son's complicated medical history. Five years of just constant living in hospitals. Christine and other parents not only didn't receive records, the practice did not tell them who had the files. The doctor's daughter, who is not a medical professional. I was informed that my medical records were in some databases. That's what they informed me. Never did they ever inform me that Dr. Bain's daughter would be having my son's files and keeping them in a storage unit. The Better Call Bank and Phone has been ringing for months with parents fed up that daughter Courtney Bain failed to cough up records. There's a lot of information in there. I mean, 11 years of my children. After calls from me, Miss Bain turned over records to parent Angela France and asked me to send other parents her way in early November. Christine followed the advice but got nowhere. Do you think someone from the state should be stepping in to help fight this battle for you? Yes, definitely. So uh, either the health department or whoever has to come in needs to go in and mandatory she has to hand over all of those records. I left a message for Miss Bain again. It's essential that she gets those records. So please call me back so we can discuss what's going on now and whether you know or not you have Christine's records. Next, the Florida Department of Health. At this point, it just seems outrageous that this woman has has these records, she has no help giving them back, she's not trained to do so, and it seems that it's time that the state step in and help her and help all of these patients get the records. Meanwhile, Christine has a message for the doctor's daughter. You better still have them and you better get me my records. Typically, medical records are required to be preserved for two years after a practice closes. These parents tell me that they are in disbelief that the state hasn't taken over to be the custodian to ensure that they get their files. And I got to say, I'm stunned mm -hmm. that the fact that they can have these records, all the sensitive information that's in there, HIPAA rules. So the question is, how many records does the daughter have? How many have been turned over? Where does it stand right now? Well, the daughter, Melanie, she didn't call me back today, but when I spoke with her in early November, she told me she had hundreds of records okay, with in the parents, storage unit. Awful. It is terrible. She tells me, though, that she's overwhelmed herself. She doesn't want this responsibility. She has also reached out to the state begging for help, and they've just left her on her own. So we think that the state needs to get involved, and we're going to stay on this until they do, and these parents get the records that they deserve. All right. Tallahassee, are you listening? Because you need to step in and help That's these right. parents I'll out. I'll be calling quick. every day. I know you will. Thanks, Shannon. <laughs> If you have a problem that needs solving, well, you know what you got to do. Better call Bankin. She is here and ready to help. That number is on your screen, 855-BANKIN.